Good, good, good. Well, I want to talk about my ministry team. Um, God gave me a vision in, uh, in January at the beginning of the year. Um, for this, what you see, I, what you write, is invest in your eternity. And the thing that's really awesome is when it comes to Justin, who does the praise dance, and when it comes to Terry, who blows the sax, none of that is rehearsed. They just go. They just, that's all flow. That's just everything that's going to But um, I'm going to do some hip hop. Um, but I'm going to start off with the story and then we're going to go into the music. So I was walking down the street one day, just walking my dog. I got a little dog named Layla. I love her to death. Just walking my little dog down the street. This guy kind of, he's on the side of the road. So, you know, God's like, hey, you need a minister to him. I hear it clear as day. I said, all right, cool. So I walk over. So I talked to the guy. He's homeless. And uh, I started talking to him about Jesus. That's probably the last thing he wanted to hear about. And he kind of asked me, he said, well, started ministering to him and everything, and he said, well, who are you in Christ? I said, so that's, that's a very good question. And I told him like this, I said, I'm born to overcome. The battle's been fought and won through God's Son, and that's rule of thumb. I'm a child of a king. I never worship material things. I'm protected by his angel wings. The Lord's voice I do hear it. Stay walking in the spirit and come in because Christ thou never omit. I'm all about my master's business. Looking ahead and ripping this. I'm calling according to his purpose. Handed him one of our little business cards and said, God, you go ahead and move through this life to them. I did what I could do. So this song I'm going to do is called Who Are You Living For? I wrote it mainly for men who struggle, people who struggle, but really for the men. So we go ahead and get our song on the I believe God chose me to be next. I thank God 
for another breath. And I keep to follow him until my last breath. I was caught in the middle of spiritual war. A life changing decision I can't ignore. With one foot in, other out the door. And the question was, who was I really living for? And the question was, who was I really living for? And the question was, who was I really living for? I was caught in the middle of spiritual war, a life changing decision I can't ignore. One foot in, the other out the door. And the question was, who was I really living for? Who was I living for? Who was I living for? And the question was, who was I really living for? Who was I living for? Who was I living for? And the question was, who was I really living for?
to you because maybe you're the one who's supposed to take that step to follow Christ. And it's really what God was doing with me was when I first started out this out was, first of all, I know a lot of people are going to go against me. And that's fine. I don't worry about that. But I pray for the people who are watching me so that they will really see this is what I do. This I why you can it ain't a show, it ain't a game. That's not what it's about. It's about saving souls and changing lives. Yeah. That's really what it's about. <laughs> so um, be an example for Christ. Like I said, everything is temporary. And there'll be one day, either you in or you out. That's it. Either you in or you out. So make that decision. Make the right one. Thank you. God bless you.